my yarny friends. I thought I would give you a tour of my yarn craft slash guest room. And I would, thought I would start in the beginning. This was my first um, area I had to store yarn. Um, I'll try to insert a picture to show you what it looks like full. I was very, very excited about it. Um, the only problem I found with having this wire um, rack here is my yarn would get stuck in these things every time I tried to get something out or if I used it to store crochet stuff. So it would pull and get stuck. And also, because it's at a triangular thing, um, if I try to grab one from here, they would all fall at me. Or even if the one in the middle, or sometimes the ones on top, they would all fall at me. So this didn't work well, and right now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. My husband may try to build me some kind of a wooden insert that maybe has an extra shelf in the middle and maybe down, down the middle this way and this way to where I could still store some yarn in it. This um, is part of an estate yarn haul that my husband got me and I'll show you more over there. Uh, he was so excited that he found this yarn haul and I wasn't as excited as he was because as you'll see over there, a lot of it was this fancy, unique yarn that I had never worked with before. So for me, I was he's so creative and for me, I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> but so now I get to have fun with it and to try to figure out how I could add it as maybe embellishments or have lots of fun fur that I could make amigurami with that I haven't tried yet. So um, this was my first area of yarn. And um, then I started to get into sewing and cutting. And of um, so this is my cutting board and just different projects I'm working on. And then over here, I have um, this dresser also used to have some yarn in it. It doesn't anymore. Um, now I just hold notions. It's a hot mess in here. <laughs> um, safety eyes, just different things that I need. Um, and then I just kind of display some of my yarny goodness um, up here that tickles me. These um, little bottles right here. Deb at um, the Canadian Crocheter, she had these cute little, somebody gifted her an ornament that had little teeny crochet hooks on it with little teeny um, balls of yarn. And I'm hoping to try to recreate that because they were so cute. And then I have buttons that I got for a good price for $3.00. But unfortunately, it's really hard to find matching buttons when you get a whole bunch of buttons, especially in these big ones. There's not, there's hardly ever two of the same kind. So now they're more of a display piece. Um, so now I would like to take you over to my um, yarn wall. My yarny goodness over here that I just totally love. So this is what I graduated to in my um, collection of yarn. Um, this is Ikea shelving, four different units that we put together and he, my husband, securely like um, secured it to the wall so it won't come crashing down up on me. Up top up there is um, the estate yarn haul that he got me and all the cool different unique yarns that um, I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> so now I'll have fun figuring out things to do with that. Um, then right here up in this corner, I am hoping to someday dye my own yarn. Um, so this is everything needed besides all the utensil stuff that's in my garage. So someday I'm hoping to do that. Um, this is yarn that I got from, oh, I, I think Premier Yarns, they're mystery bags. I have my yarn basically um, organized from size 3, all the, and then 4, then 5, then 6, 
basically it's not perfect and then I try to separate my acrylic from my cotton so down here I have mostly cotton or cotton blend and um, like this area is wool this is wool and um, it's hard to figure out exactly how to organize all this yarn a lot of the yarn I got like really really good prices for like these are Karen one pounders and at Michael's I got them for four dollars a skein so if you like really watch their cells you can have some really good prices like the Karen simply soft I got for like a dollar eighty eight a skein and I could have got them for a little bit left less but I did my math wrong the key to Michael's is when they have like let's say the Karen simply soft on sale and then you can um, do $20 off an order of $50 you're getting stuff for a great price um, a lot some of this yarn I got a, for a dollar a skein these are all a dollar a skein these are all a dollar a skein these are all a dollar a skein then I have a Hobby Lobby um, yarn haul some up here some down here and then some of this yarn I have projects for repeat crafter me has this adorable teddy bear I want to make and she has another adorable teddy bear out of this yarn that I want to make um, and then I have my ice yarns I have some here and here and I have projects for these but I don't crochet as fast as I collect yarn um, my husband loves the yarn as much as I love the yarn he loves looking at it to us this is art this is our art piece wall he likes to walk in and see it and it pleases him and um, it pleases me every time I walk in and see it um, it brings me joy and a lot of it I got for really really good prices um, my hope someday is to make lap gans the elderly I used to do senior care and I know how lonely that they can be and I suffer with loneliness because of my chronic illness I'm alone most of the time so my hope would be to make lap gans go to a senior um, care facility and for people who don't have family members coming to visit them I'd like to go visit them and bless them with an Afghan and of course I'd love to do hats for cancer patients and um, there's a group that's getting started around where I live that they're wanting to do that to start these hats so uh, and when I'm really having a severe day all I can do is maybe make one hat a day if if that um, so that's some of my hopes and dreams for all this yarny goodness um, and then over here I have my button collection my mom got me this at a thrift store and um, she even organized it for me so that was sweet of her and then these are just different buttons that I've got these I use for um, I like to crochet flowers and take these tops off and actually put the flowers on them I'll show you a couple I've made um, and then over here are some um, baskets that I got for $12 I'll put a link to there they were having a sale they're roughly like $15 but like in my basket I have all my yarn for my minion I made um, Bob right here for my sister but I didn't do I did it in the traditional blue without the hat so they have I have three of this size and they have little pockets in here that you can put your um, any notions or crochet hooks that you want and um, they have some really really cute patterns and then moving over here to the left this is my um, my little sewing area so sorry getting out of breath um, so when I um, sew I come in here hate this chair it doesn't move so when I go to iron I have to like pick up the chair almost to try to turn around so someday I'd love a different chair and then um, 
but I love this area and it's a lot of fun. And then down here in the corner, I have a really big, long basket like those that is perfect for holding a long, big afghan. So this is, this is the, the one that's down there and you pop these out and this is what makes it stand up and then I'm having a hard time so then it actually holds and these aren't in perfectly it holds a whole afghan and you have you can carry it around it has a pocket here pockets on the sides and I can't remember how much these were. They were maybe like $18. Um, these were like maybe 18 I can't remember, but I'll do the website for you. So this is my craft corner. I mean, my sewing corner that I really, really love. And then the only thing left in this room is this pantry over here. It... Um, doesn't have anything crafty in it. it. Our kitchen doesn't have a lot of storage space in it. So this up top just has food and then the bottom is cookbooks and everything like that. So um, this is my craft room, my um, guest room. And um, so when people come stay with me, they get to spend time with my yarny goodness. And I'm like, hey, don't stay up too late crocheting. Um, so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the tour of this room. Um, this is one of the things that um, I'm really, really grateful for. I'm grateful for this room that uh, brings me happiness. I wish I could be in here more often, but um, I unfortunately, I'm not in here a lot. Get a little out of breath from standing up this long and talking this long um, because of my my chronic illness, I have a condition called um, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And um, the longer I stand up, it's like I'm running. So that's so why I'm getting a little out of breath. My legs are starting to tremble a little bit. And um, so, but I wanted to show you this room and things that I was thankful for. I'm thankful for this room. I'm thankful for my husband who supports me 100%. Um, he has a hard time saying no to me because he's the one who sees me at my worst. Um, so I just want to thank you so much for watching this. And if you guys could like, subscribe, share with people, I would just be so grateful. I would really, really appreciate it. And I would like to know the small things that you're thankful for. Thanks for watching. Bye.